Hey guys, it's Zena, and today I am super excited to be unboxing something that I got myself that I've been really wanting for a long time just because you guys know I've been editing a lot and the computer that I was using to edit didn't really necessarily do its job. It was super laggy and I didn't buy it for editing purposes because I was going to school at that time. So that's literally what I had it used for. And all the specs for that laptop that I was using was pretty baseline. It wasn't anything crazy. So I invested into buying a new laptop so yeah I'm super excited I just wanted to unbox it with you guys and so basically I got this laptop solely for the fact that hopefully it's gonna make editing a lot smoother when I edit I only use iMovie I don't use Final Cut I don't use any other fancy schmancy program honestly it's I don't think it's really necessary for me yet do I want to invest in that 100% there's a lot more options on that kind of program there's more functions and things that you can utilize to be able to do more and make things look fancier and color adjustments and all that kind of fun stuff but just got this one solely for the fact that I think this is gonna be saving me more time so I can make more videos you know but yeah put a little bow on it just for aesthetics because it didn't really have the same effect of it being a present but at the same time it did if you know what i mean now it's official it has a bow on it but yeah this is what the box looks like I already took off the cellophane wrap here goes nothing the boxes are always really nice. I always keep them just because, I don't know, they're kind of useful. Not really. I'm pretty sure I still have all the iPhone boxes, but this is what it looks like. It comes in wrapped with a different paper to protect it. This one's actually pretty heavy. Comparing the two, this one's definitely a lot more lightweight. This one was the 2017 MacBook Pro. There was nothing upgraded in it. It has like the most minimal memory, which sucks, but I was only using it for school, so I didn't really need it. All my other memory things now are all on an external hard drive because there's definitely not enough in this one especially with editing files and all the clips and stuff that I needed to use this one wasn't gonna do it it's done me really well honestly like it's lasting me and it's still working battery life isn't too bad it charges like literally nothing wrong with it it's just super slow processing wise for editing if you're comparing the thickness you can tell that this one's like almost almost twice the size of it it's just a little bit thicker I think it'll be worth it it's so pretty. I always get space gray. I don't really like the silver just because I feel like the darker it is, the more it matches my soul. No. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Comes like this. I guess I'll set it up later. I kind of want to see the rest of it, what's inside the box. I just got the charging cable and just the instruction manual. I'm sure there's a sticker in here. And... The charger box. I'm actually surprised it doesn't come with a longer cable or anything, but that's okay. I have my other one, my other laptop, which I'm probably gonna still be. Oh wait, no, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to use this. Can I? No, I definitely can because this one has a USB-C. This one's like a super long cable. Got a carrying case for the cable because my last charger, it literally broke. I was just bundling the ports inside my back and it would get crushed. So eventually, it didn't work anymore. So definitely good investment. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I love unboxing things. Start with this. Everything is so aesthetically pleasing. I have a thing for things that look nice. Is that bad? I don't know, but this is a MagSafe charger. Do any of you guys put back all the casing back in the box the way that you found it? <laughs> or is it just me? The only thing really different about this new laptop is that it has like a fingerprint ID over here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for unboxing. I have to then put everything on my old laptop onto the new one, transfer all that, and then have to reset this one into factory setting. I will send it back into Apple so I can get a trade-in value. Apparently how this trade-in value thing works, just so you guys are aware and don't make this same mistake I did. Since your purchase date, that's when the trade-in time limit starts. person told me at Apple that it was two weeks after I received my new laptop that it'll start tracking this one, the return value one, so I can get the same value that I put it in for when I traded it in when I bought this laptop. But I wasn't aware. I thought it was whenever I received the new one, that's when it would make sense, right? I thought it was supposed to be whenever you receive the new laptop, that's when the trade-in value time would start so you could be obviously I don't know if you guys are aware they have a trading program and maybe you can get something from this and don't make the same mistake I did but um, the person at the Apple store told me when I was purchasing my new laptop for the trade-in value that it starts 
after I receive my laptop and I just got an email today saying that it's already been two weeks and they still haven't received the laptop and that the trading value was going to be canceled but if it's in transit that they'll still honor it which I didn't realize that I was supposed to do this right away but then I would have been laptop bliss and that doesn't go for work you know like it won't fly so so I'm doing this video now and maybe you won't make the same mistake and take that so if you do end up doing the trade in value make sure you have another laptop just in case so you don't end up in the same situation I did hopefully they still honor it because why would I not want to trade in my other laptop so I can get a discount let's hope this was already an arm and a leg. Hope that Apple still takes it. If they don't, that'd be really upsetting, to be honest. Uh, anyways, I ordered a case for it from Amazon. They didn't really have that many options because this is such a new laptop. The 14 inch is a new size that they have for this laptop. They have a tendency to be clumsy and drop things. So yeah, 14 inch seemed like it was gonna be a little bit better for me. So I ordered this case from Amazon. It comes with a screen protector and the hard case. It's a clear black. I'll put the link down below. It also comes with these camera stickers. So if you don't want to be on camera all the time, like you just slide it over and it'll pretty much protect your privacy. It blacks out the screen, but then when you want to use it, there's like a little slider. You could slide it back to the other side. Definitely going to be using that one. It has the screen protector here and a keyboard cover. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of these. I've had one for my old computer, but the one before the one I'm trading in, it just left marks all over the screen after a while. It was basically debris left on the keyboard and it transfers over to the screen so eh, like over time the color also comes off i had a color one so all the purple came off it's nice that they included this i mean at least it fits you know i bought some and some of the keys were not where they were supposed to be so that was kind of fun but yeah that's it for this video guys comment down below if you have any questions for me that i can possibly answer maybe i can help you guys out or maybe you guys can get some inspo don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos and make sure you click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye!